Hello gang, this is Bruce Wagner from Only One TV, and I wanted to do this little impromptu video just to show you uh, what I've been experimenting with. What I have here on the right is the original Motorola Droid on the Verizon network. I'm sure you're all familiar with the Motorola Droid, it's circa November 2009. It's running the latest version of Android 2.2, and on the left I have the brand new LG Optimus M on the Metro PCS network, which just came out in stores a couple days ago here in Manhattan, New York City. Okay? So one, I want to test a couple things. One thing I want to test is the actual calls because it's a, it is a phone. So what I did is I put both of these phones on my same Google Voice account. And if you're familiar with Google Voice, it will ring all of your phones if you want it to. It will ring all your phones simultaneously. So what I'm going to do, I have Google Voice set up to ring on my computer Gmail and also on my landline voice over IP SIP gate phone and on my both of these cell phones. So that's kind of the order you're going to hear it ring. So the idea of this test is to see, see which call actually comes in and which one comes in first, like a little race. So I'm going to do this test real quick ten times and see how they compare. Again, this is in Midtown West Manhattan. You hear that ringing? That's my computer. That's my SIP gate voice over IP. And there's Metro. Metro one by a nose. This is Metro PCS. This is Verizon. Again, we're in Midtown West Manhattan, and uh, both both have very strong signals at this point. And uh, we're going to see how they compare. That's Gmail. That's Sipgate. There's Verizon one by a nose that time. That's test number two, and we'll try it again. I'm calling from a third phone, obviously, my own Google Voice number. So this is test number three. You hear the, the um, computer rings instantly. And then SIPgate, there's Metro. Metro one, I mean, Metro started ringing and won. See if Verizon makes an appearance at all. Yeah, okay. Verizon, Metro won by a long shot that time. What are we on, test four? Okay, I'm dialing test four. You hear that? Gmail rings instantly. Skip gate rings right after that. Verizon. Verizon won by a nose that time. What am I on? Test five. Okay, I'm going to call again. I know this seems tedious, but it's interesting to see what the results come out as. Are you writing down these results? Test five, Metro one. And Metro one. Where is Verizon? Verizon finally made an appearance. So again, Metro won by a long shot that time. Now what? Test six and calling test six. Isn't this exciting? Okay, you hear the Gmail ring immediately. Sipgate rings right after that. That's why it's so important. Metro Metro wins. Okay. Metro wins round six. Verizon, wake up. There you are. So Verizon came in also. Metro won by a long shot in round six. This is why it's so important to have your Google Voice also ring on a landline or, you know, SIP gate voice over IP line, or just on your Gmail at least, so you don't miss calls. Um, cell phones are, always take a delay. It takes a while before a cell phone starts ringing. Now this is test seven. You hear the landline already ringing. Metro one. And there's Verizon. Okay, this is going to be, hang up, test eight. Calling again. Thrill a minute. See that? That's Gmail. That's Hipgate. Boom! That was a tie. That was a dead on tie. So let's do round nine. Calling round nine. Okay. See if my third phone works. I'm going to call again. <laughs> The third phone has to work. Okay, there. That's round nine. You hear Gmail working, ringing, SIP gate ringing. Boom, oh, Metro one. Metro PCS for the win. Boom, Verizon finally made an appearance. Again, $146 a month, $50 a month, including tax, $146 a month, $50 a month. That's a whole other test. Okay. Now what, what are we on? Is this test 10? I'm calling Gmail. Calling Gmail's ringing. Shipgate's ringing. This is the final test, Metro 1. Metro PCS for the win.
no longer the second class citizen in the wireless wars. And, you know, in case you don't know, Metro PCS has nationwide coverage. So wherever Sprint works, Metro PCS works, in case you didn't know. They have a fantastic network in the big cities, but they also have a partnership of some sort with Sprint, as I understand it. So wherever Sprint works, Metro PCS works. It really is nationwide coverage for $50 a month, including taxes on an Android smartphone. And this phone, by the way, without any contract, there's no contract, and there's uh, no cancellation fee or anything like that. Uh, it's unlimited everything, unlimited text messaging, unlimited data, and unlimited voice, $50 a month including taxes, and the phone costs $229, not subsidized by a contract, obviously. The Droid, when I bought it, it was $199, it was basically $200 with a two-year contract. So there's another comparison. All right, now the final, what were the results? Did we, did we didn't tally them? You tally them. I hope you have, to, you have to watch this video again and write it down. Um, and again, it's Bruce Wagner from OnlyOneTV.com. And I want to do one more test. And this is, I think it's uh, a test of the CPU. It's going to show you uh, this different speed of the CPU by shutting down both phones at the exact same time and then watching both phones uh, boot at the same time. So I'm going to have my, my partner here hold the camera because I only have two hands. All right, here we go. I'm going to actually try and turn off both phones at the exact same time. Okay, so let me get my fingers on the buttons. Well, okay, press the buttons. Okay, now you'll see this is the power off prompt. I'm going to hit power off on both. I did it too fast. Okay, now, your phone will be shut down. Okay, okay. I'm going to hit both at the exact same time. Time this. Powering off, shutting down, powering off, shutting down. Okay, let's see how it works. I think this has to do with the process. There you go, Metro One. Let's see how long it takes for the Motorola Droid to catch up. This does have a, a significant impact on your daily life because every time you change the battery, there you go. Okay, all right, so now we're going to do the opposite. And this is even more important, is turning it on. Because when you switch the batteries, that's what happens, okay? So here's the boot process. Thank you for that third hand. This is Metro Hello. It sings a lovely song to you. And remember, when it's singing that little, that little audio clip, it's not doing anything else. That should slow it way down because it's singing little music to you. Droid does a little animation. But uh, you'll see the comparison. If you take a stopwatch, boom. Okay, we're already at the start screen, the unlock screen over here. And there's your desktop. I'm going to go into Gmail. Launching Gmail. I'm in Gmail. It's loading my messages. Over here, oh, I'm on the unlock screen here too. There I'm in my Gmail. You see that? That's my actual messages. Over here, apparently it's still unlocking. See, it's, it's preparing SD card there. Now I've got the home screen, touching Gmail, won't let me. See, that's what it does, it's too busy. Wait, report, force close, wait, report, there. Now it's launching. By the way, you get that force close, wait, report all the time. Not over here. I don't think I've ever had it over here. So you see, uh, it's still loading my Gmail. There's no messages yet. Still loading. There, now I've got the messages. You see? See the difference? I'm going to touch home at the same time. I held down home. Okay. Anyway, you get the idea. This one boots faster. It shuts down faster. Everything seems to be faster. The wait, force, close, report thing happens all the time over here, not over here. I think it's a slightly newer version of Android as well. So there's the difference. 229 uh, for the phone without a contract. 200 for the phone with with a two-year contract, uh, when I bought it anyway, and uh, if you buy it without a contract, I don't know what it is. Like, there it is. Look, force close, wait, report, right? Wait. Uh, and it's just sitting on the home screen. Okay, but anyway, without a contract, what is this? I don't know. 400, 600, I don't even know. Uh, but anyway, no contract over here. No cancellation fee, obviously. Unlimited everything. Unlimited data, voice, text messages, and um, this one is, is limited. Uh, I had to, I was going over my 450 minute a month plan uh, just by like 12 or 15 minutes, so I had to go to the 900 minute, which was the next one up. So this was 146 a month with tax. This is 50 dollars a month with tax, unlimited everything, no contract. You do the math, 
And also, uh, Metro PCS dealers in New York City, uh, some of them, the one on 57th Street and the one on 9th Avenue and 42nd, except Bitcoin. If you're interested in digital electronic currency, check out BitcoinMe.com. That's B-I-T like Tom, C-O-I-N, me, M-E dot com, BitcoinMe.com for info about that. All right, check me out, Bruce Wagner, Only One TV, checking out.